life is interdependent. Individual human lives are enriched and sustained by the variety of life around us. An impoverished environment affects us all. Guardian Life invites you to meet and respect some of our neighbors on this planet and join with us in a dedication to life. All life. We all marvel at the colorful display and the melodious sounds of many of our wild birds. A few of these, like the picoplat, twa twa and macaw, we keep in cages so that we can admire their song and the brilliance of their colors. But there is a puzzle here. The green and brown plumage of the majority of birds serve to camouflage them from predators or prey, and bird calls sometimes act as a means of communication between individuals. So why the strikingly conspicuous colors and the richly musical calls in other of our birds? What is the importance of the whistle, of the Mauriche oriole? or the costume of the red-legged honey creeper. Red legs, purple body, turquoise head and yellow underwing. Well, many of these attractive colors are simply a means of the male bird impressing and hopefully attracting a female. In some species, male birds are not much different from the females and courtship behavior is difficult to detect. In others, however, striking differences between sexes occur. The female white line tanager is a rich russet brown, while the male is jet black. When courting, male birds may display their colorful plumage coupled with a serenade or perhaps even a dance. The white-bearded mannequin uses all these skills in order to compete with many equally handsome rivals. These birds gather together in areas called leks where up to 50 males may have adjacent flaws. Competition is intense when receptive females visit. The male white-bearded mannequin may spend as much as 90% of the daylight hours in courtship activity. To construct his dance floor, he first finds a small territory within the dancing ground. He chooses an area between two thin saplings about 20 to 30 centimeters apart and clears away all the leaf litter, twigs and roots on his dance floor. Then his dancing can begin. The dance of the white-bearded mannequins is accompanied by a wide variety of clicks and snaps as the birds dart frenziedly from perch to perch. Because they spend so many hours at the dancing ground, mannequin males make terrible fathers, helping in no way with the rearing of the brood. Unfortunately for the female, she is tied into a system of polygamous males and single parenthood. At least she has the chance to choose the nicest male around. Another species where the male bird is conspicuous by his macho behavior in the presence of females is the crested oropendola, or yellow tail. Oropendulas live in colonies of about a dozen nests, grouped in a single tree. In each colony, there is usually one dominant male distinguished by his larger size and the fact that he is a shameless show-off. To impress and attract the females, he goes through a ritual of exaggerated bowing, cresting, tail fanning and wing snapping, all to the accompaniment of a gurgling cascade of birdsong. Birds employ many different techniques to make themselves attractive to members of the opposite sex and thus facilitate mating. The one common factor is that in most cases, the male bird is the one who is endowed with the brightest feathers while the female must settle for the duller plumage.